Welcome to AP Statistics Unit 1, Lesson 7, Barry Bonds Home Runs, Review of Display of Data. All right. This data is Barry Bonds broke Mark McGuire's record when he hit 73 home runs in the 2001 season. How does this accomplishment fit into the rest of Barry Bonds' career? Here are Bonds' home run counts for the years of 1986 to 2007. What display would you get? Um, you could do a dot plot, a box plot, a histogram, a stem, uh, a stem plot, or a stem plot split stem. So then you are going to want to do one of those that of whichever one your group got. You're going to create a display on the whiteboard and bring it to the front of the room, and then we're going to describe it. So to describe it, when you actually do it, you will see that the distribution of home runs for Barry Bonds is fairly symmetric with a mean of 33.9, a standard deviation of 15.4, and no outliers. So let's go ahead and create one of these displays by going to my calculator. I'm going to have to put the data in first. Okay, so my data is 16. There we go, 16, 25, 24, 19, 33, 25, 34, 46, 37, 34, 49, 73, 46, 45, 45 again, 5, 26, and 28. There we go. Oh, hold on. 26, there we go. All right, so those are for the years that he did. Let's go ahead and first of all, display what a dot plot. So a dot plot would be, um, oh, first of all, I need to label this. So I'm gonna put Barry, just Barry, it's fine. So let's go ahead and add, so control doc, data statistics, I'm gonna hit Barry, and there's my dot plot. Let's make a box plot, menu, plot type, box plot, and there's my box plot. It shows all the dots if you touch them. And of course, if you hover, it'll show all your different things. You don't have to click on your calculator, you just hover. Then menu, plot type, histogram. There's my histogram. I don't really like that I have so many bins, so I'm gonna change that. So I'm gonna go menu, plot properties, histogram properties, histogram scale, oh, I'm sorry, bin settings, apologize, equal bin width. And it's five, so let's change it to 10 because it looks like it's about double what I want. And we're gonna go back up to menu to change what, how I look at it, window, zoom data. And there we go, that's great for my histogram. For the stem plot, I'm going to go back here to my original data and I'm going to order it. So in order to order it, I'm going to go make sure that I go all the way up, go all the way, click all the way up. Oh, hold on. Ah. There we go, there we go. Go all the way up until everything highlights, click menu, action, sort, and ascending. And that should go perfectly for you. And then you can make your stem and leaf from here. Your stem and leaf also is going to look really similar to if you go back to histogram. Let's go back and you could, your stem and leaf, sorry about that, is basically gonna be a dot plot on its side. So that was just gonna show you that. But just data statistics here, Barry. And that's your stem and leaf if you turn on its side, but you're gonna go put it all in one piece of data. Okay, and that's, and then split stem and leaf, the difference on your split stem and leaf, remember what you're gonna do for that one, is that instead of it just being, because for, for your stem and leaf, you would have, um, you, you would have to do it by yourself, you'd have zero on one, one, two, three is what I would do, and then four, oh, four, and then for that, you would just have, of course, four, five, and then, oh, it doesn't like me doing that. I'm just gonna put a dot, a point here just so it'll do it for me. For this one, I'm gonna have six, nine, 
Then I have four, five, five, six, eight, and so forth and so on. So for your stem and leaf, I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger just so you can kind of see it. No, oh, it's not cooperating. Okay, anyway, and so for this one, that's how you make your stem and leaf. For your split stem and leaf, you would make zero, zero, one, 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 two, two, three, three, four, four. And then on the actual leaves, you would have, since you have zero, you have four on this one. You'd have five on this one. Oops, that's supposed to say five. Then nothing on this one, but you'd still need this, you because there's nothing, there's not 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you would need 16 and 19 on this one. So that's what you would put there. And so forth and so on, you would continue to do the complete stem and leaf. The calculator, of course, doesn't do the stem and leaf. If you wanted to do staplet.com, it would. All right, so then, um, oh, to do the data, to be able to get them. So you're gonna go over here and you're gonna do a menu 411. So menu, statistics was four, one stat calc, one is just one variable statistics, enter, we're gonna call this berry, okay, and there you go. Your mean is 31.55, and your standard deviation is 16.6. Remember, we're going with the S because we're looking for a sample, and 18, and my median is 30.5, and so forth and so on, whatever it asked me to do. So you're gonna say my center, um, oh, my standard deviation, my data must have gotten off, oh, I think it did. Yeah, my data must have gotten off a little bit because it's not coming up to be 31.55, let's see. Yeah, this is, there's this 30, 39, 33.9, so I'm not sure, I must have missed, I must have just not, copied something correctly when I put it in. So mine's off a little bit, but that's just because I put my data in incorrectly. This is the data that they went ahead and printed out, but go ahead and do it the same way I did it. So if you did it, the distribution of home runs, that's my context for Barry Bonds is fairly symmetric. It's fairly symmetric. We're gonna look at the data. Why we say fairly symmetric? You can look at it and see here. I'll go back and do a box plot again. You can see the tails are about the same and the line inside the box itself is almost in the center. It's a little bit skewed to the right, but it's fairly symmetric. Uh, with a mean of 33.9, that's my center, or my, and my, that's my, you can see that's my center, which, hold on a second, just, which my, my median came back to 30.5 because obviously I must have copied something incorrectly but the median was 33.9 on theirs and the standard deviation of 15.4 home runs and there are no outliers. So advantage of dot plot and disadvantage, I've got different things um, for the advantage. Hey, each value is known, disadvantage, it takes time. Box plot, five number summary, it's easy to see, but you cannot see the shape. You can't see if it's multimodal, bimodal, you really can't see, you can just see if it's fairly symmetric, can't see the peaks. Um, the histogram, it's easy to make, it shows the shape, but you don't know every single value. You just know approximately which bin it's in. And the stem plot, you know every value, but it does take a lot of time to do so. If you have this distribution that it's shown and it asks you to compare the distribution for the one of Barry Barnes, you can go ahead and read this. But the main thing is I want you to see is the comparative language. Notice it says the mean is slightly higher. Um, and then it also, you need to make sure you list the data. So your mean is slightly higher, but then list your data. Your mean was uh, 33.9, where this mean here was 35.611. Um, so anyway, you make sure you use the data as well. All right, I hope that review helped you a little bit to remind you how to do these things. If you need any other help, please let me know.